the Lakers won. Um, <laughs> let's just get into the lab. Let's break this down and let's see what happens. The Lakers beat the Warriors 123 points to 113, okay? Ingram had 26 points, Kyle Kuzma poured in 22, KCP contributed 20 points, LeBron had 15 points, 12 rebounds, and 5 assists. Lonzo had 7 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, and 4 steals. So I just ran out some of the stats of the people that are key, um, that did work in this game. Obviously, the big story is Lonzo Ball coming back, okay? We knew. We knew it would be a big deal, all right? And when he first entered the game, you know, straight away two turnovers. I was like, I don't know, so, um, you know, you, um, I don't know what's going on. Um, then he airballed his first three, and I was like, you know, he got stronger over the, over the, the break. It's not making sense. Something's wrong. You know, I was panicking, hitting, hitting the panic button. But he got in the groove. Remember, this is his first game back, and it's still preseason, so you know, I wasn't too worried, but I was still like, oh, oh my gosh, help, help. But he got in the groove, especially in the second quarter when he caught that alley-oop from LeBron off the back screen. Oh my goodness. It was beautiful, because just think about it. Playing with your favorite player of all time, that must be surreal. Like, playing with somebody that you grew up watching, you know? That's like me playing with Kobe. I wouldn't be able to contain myself either. And this man is like gushing over LeBron in the post game interviews and everywhere. He's just gushing about LeBron and his greatness. It's just so cool to see. And he's literally getting first hand experience and learning straight from LeBron himself. I'm glad for him. I'm waiting for Lonzo to get back into his rhythm. He's killing it, especially, honestly, I think he's our best defensive player. Not just because he got four steals. I mean, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna count that. You know, he just did that. He gives the most effort, and he's the most consistent on defense. You know what I mean? Who else is? LeBron is not consistent. He he plays when he wants to. He plays defense when he wants to, but we're gonna move on from there. Another storyline from this game was JaVale McGee, you know, former Warrior playing against his former team. And uh, he caught this monster alley-oop, and uh, Clay Thompson was big mad. He was like, what's going on, guys? What's going on? I'm like, dude, just come over to us. I know. You're a free agent next year, and I know you want to be a warrior for life, and that's cute, but I think you need to come to the city of greats. Nothing wrong with the Warriors. They're an amazing team, but I think you need to come to the, the royal city. You know what I mean? Just, I think you have to. Just come to Lakers and do your thing here. Um, you know, that's my mini pitch to you. Um, yeah, JaVale McGee wasn't popping off this game or anything as far as scoring like he was in previous games, but the athleticism, I know the Warriors were missing that a little bit. I know. They are watching him like, man, he's doing great. He moved on. Like, he, he moved on. And, you know, he's doing good over here. I like JaVale McGee. Uh, I did like the ball movement. We kept up the ball movement. I love some of the execution. First of all, LeBron just, some of the stuff he does, it's just like, dude, how? Like, how? You know, not even the buzzer beater he did. That was... That was some alike compared to the and one twirling circus shot. I'm, I'm like, how? How? He was so confident too. The dude really thought he could stop him. And LeBron just didn't even care. It was like it was nothing. And he's made it and just, just went to the free throw. I'm, I'm confused. I'm like, how, how is this dude doing this stuff? What's going on? Ingram as well, man. Oh my gosh. I'm just seeing KD like glimpses, okay? He needs to be more consistent. He needs to put things together and just take some smarter shots sometimes, but like I'm seeing it in the works and I'm very excited to see him just, just flourish. I really am. Same with Kuzma. Kuzma hit some great shots tonight. He was doing his thing. Very proud of him. Now, KCP, I'm on the fence about you. You know, I definitely don't think you should be starting. I don't think you have any business starting if we're gonna be keep it 100, keep it 1,000. You don't have any business starting. But the, the fact is, he scored 20 points. I'm looking at my notes. He scored 20 points, and but he was still trash at the same time. I'm like, how are you trash and good at the same time? I don't, I don't get it. Like he was bad and good. Like he was frustrating me. But then he would hit a three. I'm like, huh? How am I supposed to feel? How? I don't know. Like you, you confuse me. I don't know what I'm supposed to think about you. You know. But I don't think you should be starting. That's just a fact. Um, dude, I can't, I can't stand. KCP sometimes, like some of his choices and decisions. It's just like, dude, 
I, I know you practice those threes. Like, how are you gonna clank it off the side of the backboard? Ha! We're gonna move off KCP. We're gonna go to rebounding. It was a terrible night for us, rebounding-wise. Um, our first offensive board, I think, came either late in the first quarter or, or second quarter. We were getting zero, and they had a bunch. We had none. And by the end of the game, we had nine offensive boards. They had 15. That's 15 second chances for them. Tell me how LeBron, with 10 rebounds, has the most rebounds on the team. It's just, I'm confused. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. We don't need another Brooke Lopez getting like one rebound, two rebounds, but pulling up from three like he Curry just <clears throat> with zero rebounds. It's like, <laughs> we don't need a repeat of that. I just really need the rebounding to go up, the defense to go up, even though I do give him slack because the, the Warriors, man, I'm telling you, Curry, oh my gosh, she just pull up from wherever and I'm like, nah, you know, I just keep forgetting his greatness. I'm like, nah, it's not gonna go in. Swish, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Swing it over to Clay. Like their ball movement is pristine. It's beautiful to watch. Oh my goodness. Like it's it's mesmerizing. So, you know, I'll give them a pass on a defense because really there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing you can do. There's just nothing you can do. I'll give them a pass on that, but we do need to get better on that side of the ball. Defense and rebounding. That's just apparent um, from multiple games. Now I just think it's funny. I just think it's funny how, you know, Warriors fans were like, oh my gosh. It's just a preseason game. It's not that big of a deal. My y'all are making it seem like y'all on the playoff game or something like that, which I really wasn't. I wasn't going ham. I, I didn't really like. I was excited. I was like, oh, lit. We won. Like I didn't expect that. You know, y'all started coming on Twitter doing the most like Laker fans acting like this is their first championship win in years and all this yada yada. I'm like, first of all, your boy KD found out. Okay. He fouled out. He was trying hard. You're calling us tryhards? I saw a tweet that saying the Lakers are really trying hard right now in this game, LOL. I'm like, your boy fouled out. Who's trying hard? Him. <laughs> okay, and the gag is, I wrote it down too. Curry, Clay, Durant all played 24 plus minutes. Okay, LeBron didn't even play, what, he played like 17. JaVale played under 20 minutes. Rondo played under 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Like, it was not that serious. It's a preseason game. Plus, Lonzo just got back, so Luke's trying to tweak lineups and try to put him in the backcourt with Rondo and see how that worked. We got Kuzma running the five. Like, we're just trying different lineups at this point. Y'all were the ones playing your stars for over 20 minutes, 27 minutes, 26, 29 minutes in a preseason game, and then fouling out, and then it's... But no, we're trying hard, like stop it, man. Cause look, if y'all would've won, y'all would've been doing the same gloating and stuff. So just, just come on, chill out, okay? We won. I didn't, I didn't do it. Don't get mad at me. I didn't do it. They did it. <laughs> Lebronzo did it, okay? Not my fault. <laughs> Not my fault. But yeah, it was a good game. It was the most viewed preseason game in NBA history which was amazing. And I'm anticipating more great matchups between the Lakers and the Warriors. I want it to get a little more hostile because right now I'm not feeling any type of hostility. I enjoyed the game thoroughly. I was like, oh, they're great competitors. But you know, it's always a little fun when you can throw shade, you know, when people are petty, when players get a little testy. It's always just, it adds some to the rivalry. You know what I mean? Right now it's just really nice. You know, it's real cordial, which is cool, but it's not fun enough. You know, so I want something to pop off. We'll see if we can get some trash talking going or something. I mean, like, we can't be all nice and flowers and roses the whole time, you know? Like, maybe when DeMarcus Cousins come back, we can start it up. I don't know, but um, we gotta change it. I'm not liking this nice vibe that we have right now with the Warriors. It's cute, but I'm not here for cute. You feel me? I'm here to rip opponents apart. But with that being said, what did y'all think about this win? And what did you think about Lonzo and LeBron, excuse me, LeBronzo out on the court? Also answer the question for me, what do you think Lonzo will be able to bring to this new Lakers squad? Let me know in the comments below. I read and reply to all of them. Thank y'all so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Click right here to check out some other videos and subscribe to join the Splash Squad down here. Shout out to the squad. Peace.